Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm down on Princess Island Park in Calgary, Canada, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to access, send, and if you so desire, spend and sell your Bitcoin Cash. Now this would be on a Trezor device, so this requires two things. Number one, that you had regular Bitcoin as of August 1st when the Bitcoin network split and created Bitcoin Cash, and two, that the Bitcoin you had was sitting on your Trezor hardware wallet. Now, if this is not the case for you, this video may still be relevant if you are planning on having a Trezor at any point in the future, and if the Bitcoin network were to split again, the steps to access your new tokens for whatever the split may be would be pretty much the same process uh, if Trezor deems it necessary to support the new split. So without further ado, let's take a look at how to access and sell your Bitcoin Cash from your Trezor. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is the Trezor blog and they did a nice little write up here of how to access your Bitcoin Cash through two different methods. I'm going to be looking at one which I feel is the easiest. Um, but. All you're going to need here is uh, we're actually going to be going to the website beta-wallet.trezor.io. Okay, so normally you would go to wallet.trezor.io to access your Trezor accounts, uh, but you actually need to use a beta wallet for this uh, because it's it's new firmware and you're going to need to update your device. So here I've got my Trezor device. I've also got my connector cable as well um, and that's all I'm going to need this website the device and the cable okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to connect the bottom of the Trezor here we're going to plug the USB into the computer but what you will need to do is update the firmware on your device so all you're going to be doing is as you plug it in while you're on this website is you're going to hold down both buttons at the same time like that. Just make sure that they're both pressed down. You should be able to get it with your thumb there. So as I plug this in, I'm holding down the buttons and I'm going to plug it into the USB port. And as I do, it's going to bring up a prompt that asks if I want to update the device firmware, which I do. Now it does warn us that we want to make sure we have our wallet seed. So the 12 or 24, I can't recall the words, the phrase that you write down when you first start your Trezor wallet, that is your backup. And the reason for this is in case anything happens in the firmware setup, you don't want to lose access to your funds. And as long as you have that seed, you'll be able to reaccess everything. Okay. Um, so I have actually already updated this myself, so I don't need to go through, but you would just hit yes, update, and you would uh, confirm on your device by hitting yes. Okay, so I'm going to skip this part. Uh, once you're done with that, it'll ask you to disconnect your device. So I'm going to do that just that right now. I'm going to hit close. I'm going to disconnect. So let's say that I had just updated my firmware. Everything seems to be all good. All I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in on the beta wallet Trezor IO website. Okay, and now once I plug in my device, I'm going to be given the scrambled pin number uh, on the device and put it in on the screen. So I'll just quickly do that here. Hmm. Okay, so when you log in, you will have your Bitcoin Cash wallet. You'll also have a drop down, and you'll be able to access all your wallets uh, just like anything else uh, if, with your normal Trezor account. So right now I'm on my Bitcoin Cash account and I can see that there is nothing in it. Now that's because I have previously cleared this out. All right. Um, now, if you don't see anything here, you can also go to uh, another site um, 
claim Bitcoin cash. So this is trezor.io slash claim dash BCH. I'll put that in the link down below as well. Um, and you can open up whatever Bitcoin accounts you had will also be listed here. Now here it says, obviously I don't have enough funds in my account, but if I did, I would have options to send it to outside addresses. Okay, so let's just peek back and see how we would do that. Much like the regular Tresser, you have receive and send functions. Okay, so in order to send, you would hit the send button. You would paste in an address, or if you were sending it to a paper wallet or something, you could hit this little barcode, and that would bring up your camera, which I will allow. There's me. All right, uh, and you could scan a barcode that way. Um, and then you pick your amount that you're gonna send and you're gonna pick your fee. Uh, normal usually works, but uh, if you feel like expediting the process or if you don't care what the fees are, you can lower that. Um, yeah, and then you would send your Bitcoin cash out and that's as simple as it is. Now you're gonna wanna send this somewhere. Um, if you're selling, you wanna send it to some sort of an exchange. So I'm gonna show you guys the one that I used. Uh, this is called Hit BTC. And why did I use this? Well, because they were one of the first ones that allowed for Bitcoin Cash deposits. Um, so it's a pretty simple sign up. It's just an email address and a password, and that is it. Uh, so all you're going to be doing is once you get logged in here, uh, you're just going to go to account and you're gonna be able to, you can search up here, you can type in BCC, I believe, but if you scroll down a little bit, you can see it right here, Bitcoin Cash. And to fund your account, there's this little circle with a plus sign, and this gives you an address, okay? So you can create a new one if you want, but all you need to do is you're gonna copy this address, you can click copy here, and then if you head back over to your Trezor wallet, you could paste that wallet in and send the amount, and it will pop up on your hit BTC account, after which you can go into the exchange and you can sell your Bitcoin Cash if that's what you would like to do. Um, I'm not gonna go too detailed into how to trade here, uh, but pretty much if you're on Bitcoin, uh, if that's what you're wanting, um, then you can, you're on the Bitcoin menu, you look down, what are you trading Bitcoin with? And you can hit BCC right here. It gives you the chart. Doesn't look like a very nice chart to me, but I will hold my opinions there. Um, yeah, and then you just pick, okay, well, how much are you selling? How much are you buying? Um, so buy is here, sell is here. Uh, this is assuming you'd like to sell Bitcoin Cash for Bitcoin, all right? And you would put in your amount, what price you'd like. Uh, if you wanna sell the entire balance that you, you have, you can just click on your balance there and it'll auto fill that for you, okay? Um, now this amount that I have left in is too small to sell, uh, so that's fine. Or you can hit, the easiest way to do it is if you go over here to market, market value, uh, it just gives you an auto value, whatever the current sell price is, uh, and you can just hit your full amount. Right now I don't have enough to sell. Um, but it would fill it in and it would tell you exactly how much you're gonna s receive. You would be hit with a 0.1% fee. That's pretty damn good. Uh, and then you just hit sell and you would be funded with Bitcoin. You can then copy and paste and send your Bitcoin out to whatever wallet you choose. That is it, my friends. Now, let's say you don't wanna use HitBTC. Um, another good one that I found is Bitrix. Uh, so same kind of thing, you can sell, you can um, fund your account with your Bitcoin Cash and you can sell it here if you like. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting to look at there. Same kind of idea, you can, you can go into the exchange. I'm not gonna go into details here. Or if you're in Canada like myself, Quadriga CX, uh, the major exchange here in Canada, has now enabled your, you to uh, access Bitcoin Cash and sell it, although they only allow you to sell it for Canadian dollars. If you want Bitcoin, you're gonna have to sell your Bitcoin Cash for Canadian dollars, then you're gonna have to go back in and buy Canadian dollar, sorry, buy Bitcoin with your Canadian dollars. So you are paying fees on both of those conversions. Um, so yeah, if you go to dashboard here, there's a little drop down menu and it gives you your Bitcoin to Canadian dollars and you also have your BCH or Bitcoin Cash to Canadian dollars. So there you have 
three different options uh, to trade your Bitcoin Cash and how to access it from your Trezor. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to support the show in another way, and you'd like to get a kick-ass hardware wallet at the same time, please check out my affiliate links down below. I have links for the Trezor and the Ledger Nano S, or the Ledger Blue. And if you pick one of those up, it just helps to support the show and allows me to potentially create even more content in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.